Good morning. It's Tuesday and now I'm just getting out of work. Bye UPS. <laughs> just getting out of work right now. It's cold. <sighs> cold chill. <sighs> Today wasn't too bad. It went by pretty quickly, which was good. And tomorrow we're starting earlier because it's Halloween. So we want to get the drivers off the roads because there's little kids running around and you know, they want to get home and take their own children out trick or treating. So tomorrow's going to be an earlier day. It means I get out earlier, which is good. So yeah, I'm just getting out of work now. Um, I had to drop my truck off at the shop to get some work done on it. But first, before I do that, I want to go and get a few groceries. So that's what I'm about to head and go do. Stop at home first and put the girls out and then get some groceries and then drop my truck off. That's the plan. All right. Oof, it's windy. Just got to the grocery store. Got my bags to recycle. We're here at Market Basket. Hopefully it's not too busy inside. <laughs> I just dropped my truck off. He said he's gonna give me a call when he's figured something out. So now I'm just walking around the corner to the bus stop and I'm just gonna catch the bus home. All right. So the reason I have to drop my truck off is because my engine light's on and my engine light has been on probably since the day I bought the truck. But in order for it to pass inspection, it's gotta be off. And I should have had an inspection sticker back in August, but it was on and we've been trying to go through all the things that could be causing it. Because when we plug the thing in to check the engine light, there's like 11 codes that come up. So we started with like the smallest, quickest, cheapest ones to figure out if that could have been something and then we're working our way up. So now we've narrowed it down to a bad gasket around the uh, spark plugs or whatever, because oil gets in there and it causes an engine misfire, which is one of the codes. So hopefully that's it. We have a 60 day temporary sticker on it now until it passes the inspection just to show we're working on it. But yeah, so that's why my truck is in the shop. Do you need one? Yes, please. You have a good afternoon, okay? Thank you. 
What a ride that was. I don't know if it was this lady's first day or if she felt like she was running behind or something, but she was like, she took the corner on two wheels for Christ's sakes. Like she would like speed roll fast and then slam on the brakes. It's like, oh my God, Lord, just let me make it home in one piece. I got two beautiful girls waiting for me. Not today, not today. I made it. Good girl. You want to go outside? Hey, Andy. Hey. Go, go. You go out? All right, time to get out of these work clothes and get started on a second Halloween makeup look for you guys. I am pretty excited to, to do this one, so I hope you guys like it. So I'm going to leave you here, and the next time you see me, I'll look different. Okay, this is my final makeup. This was a little harder than I expected. The scar wicks kept falling off in some spots, like right here. It <laughs> looks really bad. <laughs> that's the actual latex piece right here coming off this was a little difficult but i tried my best so the inspiration for this one was from the 1983 tv series called v and this is reptile diana <laughs> so i don't know if any of you are old enough to get that reference or not but that's what this was she's a reptilian humanoid type alien thing so that's what this was I did my best. <laughs> Some people were asking how difficult it was to take off latex and everything. Um, this one's not so bad because it's literally just like two solid pieces, but it should usually just peel right off. And you just got to be careful that it, anything that gets stuck in like your baby hairs, like up here, you know, any peach fuzz on your face, you want to get rid of that first so that also having the eye rail covered with the glue to like make it a smooth barrier for that so like you literally don't want any latex to get stuck in your hair but see this scar wax was a fail fail <laughs> oh boy but yeah the latex just peels right off ha that's one piece <laughs> And then two pieces. So this one wasn't too bad. And then I'll just take a makeup wipe and take the other makeup off my face, wash my face, take a shower, like whatever. So that's that. Okay, makeup is done. Cleanup is done. I have to take a shower. I'm in my pajamas now. Now it's time for food because I am starving. Um, Tony is not home yet, but I'll start dinner and hopefully I can get it done by the time he comes home because it would be nice to just have it ready for him when he walks in. So I have been craving lately fish tacos. So maybe you knew what I was getting at when you saw my ingredients that I was getting at the grocery store today. Maybe not. But that's what I'm going to make today fish tacos. Let's do it. I've never made fish tacos before. I don't know how to make fish tacos. So I just googled fish taco recipe and picked the first one that came up and seemed easy. Um, a lot of the name brand ingredients that it had listed I did not have in my grocery store. So I'm going to do my best to improvise with that one, but it should come out pretty much the same. So all right, so what you need is some reduced fat sour cream, diced tomatoes with lime and cilantro, tricolor coleslaw, tilapia, cumin, salt, canola oil, 
and tortillas, corn or flour. Pretty good. Pretty good. It's not better than margaritas fish tacos, but this will satisfy my craving for now. <laughs> Tony called me, said he's not coming home for like another hour, so I'm going to enjoy my fish tacos by myself. More for me. <laughs> and um, then I gotta get a jump on these blogs, so I'm gonna end this vlog here. I've got a lot of editing to do. I've got a full day's vlog and a full Halloween vlog. And i got to be to bed in like an hour or two. I'll push it because it's worth it. So thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the Halloween vlog. And yeah, I'm going to enjoy these fish tacos. Love you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Catch you in the next vlog.